We've got Brian and Victoria here from Texas One Seasoning. Good to see you both. Thank you. Happy to have the family here, as we mentioned during our teas, father and daughter in the studio this morning. So before we get started, tell us a little bit about Texas One Seasoning. Well, it's an award-winning seasoning. Uh, we have five flavors, original, smoky hot, chipotle, texpresso, which has real espresso coffee in it, and we have a one-of-a-kind Bloody Mary seasoning. Right, and you actually have one of those Bloody Marys out here for us right now. That'll add a little kick to that Bloody Mary. Yes, sir. Uh, we won the uh, MBBQA All-Purpose Dry Rub of the Year last wow. year when the conference was here in Mobile, and this year we won uh, four awards, Cajun, uh, Jamaican, Southwest, and first in Cajun uh, in San Marcos. If you're winning all these awards, it's got to be good, right? Uh, it's we hope so. <laughs> it's got to be good. So I can't wait to try some out. So speaking of which, talk to us about what you're going to make today and what ingredients we have here on the on the program. What we're going to do today uh, is make our uh, bacon wrapped wings. We take uh, chicken wings. Uh, we slice our bacon, uh, slice our uh, onions, our jalapenos. They're stuffed with crawfish and Koneka sausage. All right, and what's the process then for using these? It's, it's kind of a rub that goes into it, right? It is, and what we do after we get everything, every, everything prepared and everything, then we'll put the Texas One on it. Mm -hmm. And normally we cook them on the grill for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, somewhere along in there. Today we're going to be cooking them in the oven at about three, 350 degrees for about an hour. Sounds good. We're going to show you some of that prep in our next segment. But before we get to that, how can the folks get in touch with Texas One Seasoning and pick up some of these products? Uh, you can go online and visit our website at um, TexasOneSpice.com or RubDaddy.com. We okay. have a store at, uh, in Satsuma that we just opened up. Uh, it's in the Rod Room at Orange Beach and at the airport in um, Gulf Shores. Now, why two websites? Why is one RubDaddy.com? Well, because that's our cooking team. That's the cooking team. All right, so plenty of different ways to get these. You can also look online. We'll come back with you all and start some of this preparation process and get some in the oven in just a little while. Thanks a lot, Chair. Welcome back into our Studio 10 kitchen. We've got Brian and Victoria here from Texas One Seasoning. Guys, we shared all the ingredients in the last segment. It's time to show the folks how to prep these. You're all gloved up and ready to go. So what do we need to do? Well, the first thing is everybody always asks, how in the world do you stuff a wing? Right. My comeback to that is with lots of love. <laughs> first thing right. you do, you take your wing and you slice it through the bone. Be very careful not to cut all the way through the skin where it doesn't cut you. And then Victoria will show you how right there while I cut this other one. You're going to take a little bit of crawfish and put it inside. Okay. And you're going to also put a piece of Koneka sausage in there. Oh, yeah. You'll get your bacon and what? lay it out and put your pepper, because it's the straighter one of the two, mm -hmm. on the bottom. Lay the chicken <laughs> wing on top of it and get your onion and just lay it on top of the Koneka sausage. After that, you're going to roll the, ba roll the baking over it and make it as tight as possible. Everything you did there sounds delicious. And then <laughs> um, you just stick two toothpicks in it and mm -hmm. get it ready to get some Texas One sprinkled on it. Now, is this one of the recipes that won some of the awards, or is it, it is? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that is fantastic. Now, speaking of the awards, if you want some award-winning delicious food for yourself, you can pick up one of the Texas One seasonings. We mentioned how to do that earlier. How could they do that, guys? Uh, they can uh, go online to our uh, online store at um, uh, TexasOneSpice.com mm -hmm. or RubDaddy.com, the name of our cooking team, or they can go to the Rod Room at... Orange Beach or the uh, airport at Gulf Shores. We also have Facebook and Twitter. Um, it's going to be Texas One, the number one gourmet seasoning on Facebook as well as Twitter. All right, sounds good. So you can find them pretty much everywhere online and pick some of this up for yourself. Now, once we get those all seasoned up and ready to go, you mentioned kind of two ways to do it. You can grill them or bake them. When you grill them, do you have any tips? Uh, typically about 250, 275 for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, while you're grilling it, you put a little more Texas One. Um, we used original on, on these today. Mm -hmm. uh, we do use all the other ones also, but I wanted to use the original sure. on the show today. And then if you're baking, how do you go about baking? Uh, same thing. I'll leave them uncovered. I'll put them in for about 350 okay. on there and um, then cook them for about an hour. 
All right, sounds good. Yeah, cook them for that hour duration. Let's time to let some of those, all those things kind of marinate together and get all that juicy goodness in there as well as the fancy Texas One seasonings on top and spices. All right, guys, sounds good. We'll check back in with you in a little while when we're going to have these ready to go. Ladies? We're here in our Studio 10 kitchen working on some Texas One gourmet wings. And, guys, we've got some ready in the oven. Let's take a look and see how they turned out. Oh, they smell so good. And these things are stuffed with onions, connected of sausage, crawfish, crawfish wrapped Peppers. in bacon. Oh my goodness. And of course, your famous spices. And you guys have all types of different spices over here. Yes, we have uh, five different flavors. We have original, smoky hot, chipotle, texpresso, which has real espresso coffee in it, and the uh, Bloody Mary seasoning. They're actually a value added spice. You can actually eat them on everything from fruit to popcorn to vegetables to everything. We, uh, you can boil, with the Bloody Mary, you can boil crawfish, you can boil shrimp, it's great on hamburgers, um, pineapple slices on the grill, it's fantastic. Now when you say value added spice, is that what you mean you can add it to anything and it adds delicious tasty value? <laughs> That's correct. Man, look these, at are, that. these are hot, but I, want, I need to try one of these bad boys out. They look out. so good. We were talking during the commercial break, so I want to see how these turn out when you stuff them with all of that stuff, and they turned out really pretty. Mm. The recipe is on box10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. I have a question about this espresso spice. So you said you can put it on, on pretty much anything. Is the espresso going to wake you up? It, uh, it changes, it, it enhances yeah. the flavor of the meat, it changes everything. And it depends right. on like what you eat it on, like if you cook with it, then it has a different flavor rather than if you just sprinkle it on popcorn or something, uh -huh. it's my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. And it, it has that espresso flavor yes. too? Yes. Oh man, I'm going to have to taste that one before you guys get out of here. I'm going to have to taste some wings too. What do you think, Joe? You're hiding back there. This is my favorite. I've been eating it the whole time, the whole segment. <laughs> that's all I'm doing. <laughs> they are messy, so I guess that's the excuse. And how can we all get some of your spices? You can go to our website at TexasOneSpice.com or RubDaddy.com, which is our cooking team also. Uh, you can get it at the Rod Room at Orange Beach, uh, Jack Edward Airport at uh, Gulf Shores, and, of course, online. All right. We'll make sure that we put all that information on Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page. As well as this recipe, I know you guys are going to want that. Still going good back there? Yeah. All right, we're going to let him finish this thing. <laughs> good job, y'all. Thank you.